Ponder and pray. Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. Genesis 37, 5. Is God speaking to you? I believe he is. I believe he is speaking to his people today in many ways. While his main form of communication is always through the Bible, he also speaks, often quite specifically, through such things as dreams, visions, impressions, and other forms of revelation. But not everything God says to you is something to be shared with others. Not all words of God are meant to go public. There are several instances in the scriptures where God specifically told people to not share his word. Instead, they were to keep it to themselves. If God tells you something in private, think hard before sharing it with the people around you. Joseph, the youngest son of Jacob, made the mistake of prematurely telling his older brothers some things God had revealed to him in secret, and it proved nearly disastrous. He told them about his dreams of one day ruling over a great number of people, including his brothers. What Joseph was really doing was bragging on himself. He was being prideful. He was saying, I have a special relationship with God and you don't. I have a high calling and you don't. He wanted to show his brothers that he was more special than they were in the eyes of his father and in the eyes of God. Be very careful about prematurely sharing something God tells you. Be careful about sharing your God-given words or dreams with the body of Christ. Be especially careful about sharing them with people outside the church. Sometimes your words from God are not to be shared even with your closest family members. They are to be held inside until God brings them to pass. They are to be pondered and prayed over, not broadcast. One reason to hold on to a word from God is because if you share it prematurely, Satan will go to work and try to thwart what God has told you. He will try to delay it or throw it off course. Unless God tells you otherwise, if he gives you a word in private, you are much better off keeping it in private. Remember the wisdom of Mary, the mother of Jesus? She heard things about her son, Jesus, the Son of God, from angels who came from heaven, from shepherds who came from the fields, and from wise men who traveled a long distance to visit the baby in the manger. Do you remember what she did? Luke 2.19 says she treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. How easy it would have been for Mary to have gone out and started a great evangelistic campaign. She could have put up a big tent and a bigger sign that said, This is the manger where the Son of God lies, and I'm his mother. Come and see. What do you think would have happened? Herod would have been down there in Bethlehem in a moment. He would have tried to remove his competition and thwart what God was doing with a sword. But Mary had enough sense to keep her secret, the promise she'd received from God in private, until it was God's time for the world to know. God speaks to each of us if we're open to listening. If you receive a word from God, don't get puffed up. Keep it to yourself. Ponder it in your heart. Pray about it. Joseph didn't do that. When he rushed ahead of God and told his already jealous brothers about the greatness God had in store for him, they threw him into a dry well and sold him into slavery to the next passing caravan. When God gives you a word, a dream, or a vision, he intends for it to come to pass, but only in his ordained time and by his ordained means. 
Your part is to pray. Get out of God's way and not let your pride or a loose tongue interfere. It's not your job to bring the word to pass in your own strength or wisdom. Trust God to do it. What becomes of that word in the hands of God will be far greater than anything you can imagine.